What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman and today we are doing something a little bit different. We're fishing with a crowd favorite. I'm usually a power fisherman fishing moving baits but today we are slowing down and I am throwing on a Cinco on a wacky rig and I got actually three different size Cinco's today to make it a little bit interesting. I'm gonna fish with each of them for about 25 minutes a piece. I got a four inch Cinco, a five inch Cinco, and a seven inch Cinco and they should all be great baits for these fish out here today. I'm just interested to see what different results I get in different sizes. I feel like it'll be pretty similar, maybe a little bit bi bigger fish with a seven inch Cinco, but we're gonna have to wait and see. So I'm about to tie on the four inch and get the first 25 minutes started. Let's get the fishing. Here we go, four inch Cinco. 25 minutes starts now. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get one right here in this first little pocket right here. It's usually a pretty little juicy spot for me. I love throwing a wacky rig though. I don't know why I haven't thrown it more in the channel, but it is literally one of my favorite ways to catch fish when they are biting it, which is pretty much always, but don't catch a whole lot of monsters on it. So we're gonna see. Maybe that seven inch Cinco changes things up for a little bit for us today. There we go, finally, fish on. God, that took a lot longer than I anticipated. And he is tugging pretty good. Definitely feels good to have a fish on my line. It's been the first time I've been able to fish in like two weeks. And there we go, first fish in the boat. And I don't know if y'all can't tell, but I got a new GoPro today. It's the first time I got a chance to use it. And there we go, little beautiful bass. And we dropped him in the boat. Fantastic start, guys. Took about 15 minutes to get that first fish, but here she is, just a little dink. Enough to get us started though, that's about what I expected from the four inch Zinco. Hopefully we can get one or two more before that timer runs out, move up to a little bit bigger size and hopefully a little bit better fish. Later. So that fish did take my lure right there, my little Cinco, and I thought this would be a good time to explain to y'all exactly where I hook these things when I am wacky rigging them. The spot I have found best for all sizes is literally right behind the smooth part on the long tail end. So you got this little smooth section on the side that's the longest right up against the smooth section. It's a pretty good balance point, makes, yeah, makes the bait fall pretty well in the water. Got a nice wobble action to it. So that's just a little tip for y'all. Oh, and there we go. Another fish, back to back. This is might be a little bit of a good spot. Come on in here, buddy. This looks like to be a little bit better of a fish. Give him a little bit of line so I can get him in here in the boat. A little bit easier, he was right up on me. And there we go, fish number two, back to back. Let's get it. Check out that hook set right through the top of the mouth. He was going nowhere. Six minutes, 50 seconds left. Definitely moving up the scale. This fish is not a giant, but it is thick. I mean, for the size of this little fish, I mean, he's got a gut on him. Got some nice shoulders. Pretty looking dude. Let's get him back in. Later, pal. While the fish have started the bite, they are also taking my Cinco's very quickly as expected. Wacky rigging them. I have one more left after this, so hopefully we don't go through all of them, or I guess that's not a bad thing if I catch enough fish to go through all these Cinco's, but let's get it back out there. Got about five, six minutes left. Let's see if we can get one more on the four inch. I think we can do it, guys. I believe in myself. Oh, oh, I just got a bite. I just got a bite. I should let him take it a little bit longer. That is unfortunate. Well, there goes the timer. One more cast. See if we can't get one more on the four inch before we have to retire it for the five inch Cinco. Let me uh, turn that off. It's quite annoying. And... Nothing. Nothing at all. On to the five inch. Here we are, five inch Cinco, same green color. This one's got a little bit of purple flake and some black flake in it. Essentially the same color, just a little bit bigger profile. It's not really gonna make a huge difference in color as far as this pond goes. Let's see if this little bit bigger profile does us a little bit more work. 
I have more confidence in this size. This is personally my favorite size Cinco. I have the most luck on it, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. See what we got. Oh, I, I do need to start the timer though. There we go, 25 minutes. Let's see what we got going on. First little hole right here. There we go, first fish on the five inch Cinco. I literally just took my hand off to scratch my leg and it hit, but we are on. This fish came up and crushed it though. I think it's the best one yet too. We're going up in size as we go up in Cinco size. So I'm pretty happy about that. Get this dude on in the boat. Oh yeah, definitely best one yet. Solid little bass. And he smoked it too, all the way in the back of the throat. Lost Cinco, typical. It's pretty standard procedure right there. Got the hook out though. Now ain't she a beauty? What a studly little fish. Probably pushing two and a half pounds, getting up there, definitely better than the first two. This is more the size we're looking for. I know there's some fives and six in here. That's the biggest I've caught, but I will settle for this fish. Good little bass, let's get her back in. Here we go. Woo! Oh, she did not like that. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can tell, but that fish just freaking soaked me. I mean, I'm literally covered in water. My camera's covered in water. <sighs> Payback. In light of that last fish catch right there, I do want to announce two things I want to start implementing in every single video. I want to do a comment of the day and a picture of the day. The way these are going to work for comments, I'm going to post a question. It's going to be the question of the day or question of the video. And I want y'all to respond to that in the comments section. This is going to be a good way for me to get some more interaction with y'all. I like to talk to y'all. I like to chat with y'all. So that is a good way for me to do that. And it gives y'all a little bit of screen time uh, for the people who do like to watch my videos on a regular basis so hopefully you see your comment up in a video and as far as the pictures go I want y'all to go over to my Instagram and start DMing me pictures of the fish that y'all are catching and I want to show those off to the rest of my subscribers and give y'all a chance to get in a video or something like that I talk to a few guys pretty regularly over DM who've reached out to me and I like to get to know y'all so hopefully y'all enjoy this idea and here's the first comment of the day and here's the first picture of the day so hopefully y'all enjoy this Let's see where it goes. On that note, six and a half minutes left. Uh, this about as productive as the last bait. Let's get another one on there though. Okay, rigged and ready to go. Let's see if there's another one back here in this little spot right here. That's what happened last time. Let's see if it happens again. Two fish, one spot. They might be just kind of stacked up together. Figure it out though. So for another quick tip, fish in the Cinco, basically what you want to do is not cast it in the tree like this, but once you cast it right up against whatever your target is, literally just let it sink and float down to the bottom, give it a few seconds, and then once it gets to the bottom, maybe give it a wiggle or two. And then what I like to do is I give it a quick pulse, and sometimes that triggers a fish who's just a little hesitant. But after that, just reel it straight in. This is not a bait you wanna work all the way back to the boat. 90% of your hits are gonna come on that initial fall, and they're just gonna smoke it right away. So just throw it at like specific targets, like overhangs, bushes, rocks, whatever you got going on around you, and then give it maybe one or two wiggles, and that was a branch, but you get the point, and then reel it right back on in. There we go, fish on, run right at me, running right at me. Stay down, buddy, stay down. I thought that fish would be there. This is the first little spot of like this reed grass and this little bush, and it looked like a perfect little spot for a bass, had high confidence in that spot. And what do you know? It resulted in a little bass right here. Solid little fish, and we will take them. Pop that hook out real quick. In there pretty good, he wasn't going anywhere. Here's a better look at the little dude. This is probably gonna be the last fish on the five inch Cinco. How much time we got left? Uh, minute and 41 seconds or 30 something now, but you get the point. Good little fish. Hopefully we get one more. I doubt it, but we're gonna try. Adios, homie. Well, took my worm. I don't know how much point there is in trying to put another one on here real quick, but the timer's not up, so we're gonna give it a shot anyways. I don't know, we're probably down to like a minute left now. And then I gotta deal with that crap. See if we can't get one more. 
Oh, there goes the timer. I'm gonna take like three more casts in these little spots. Turn that off real quick. And there goes one cast, two cast. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Whoa, little bonus cast got herself a bonus fish. Came up and crushed it. Good little fish, buddy. Thank you for giving me a little bit more action and thank you for taking my worm as well. It was worth putting on just for you, buddy. Technically, this little sucker came out of the time frame allotted for it, but you know what? Bonus fish, it was like 30 extra seconds. So who really cares? Let's get this little dude back in the water. Bye, buddy and onto the behemoth. So here's the five inch Cinco and here is the seven inch Cinco. This thing is much, much bigger. It is girthy, it is quite large. I think we can do the trick and let's get this thing hooked up and we're going to get after it. This is actually the first time I've ever fished with a Cinco this big. So I'm interested to see how I do with it. It's freaking ginormous, but there's some good sized bass in here. So I'm feeling confident. And I like this little uh, water coming through here. So I think if we throw in this little pocket right here where the fresh currents come in, we might get lucky right off the get go. Throwing this bait is like throwing a green turd around. I swear, <laughs> this thing is so funny. It is huge. There we go, first fish. First fish on the massive Cinco. Come on in here, my beautiful lady. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. And we lost Cinco, <laughs> typical, always happens. And another solid hook set right in the back of the mouth. Hook came out there pretty easily. No doubt one of the better fish today. What do y'all think, best fish yet? Mm, possibly. Beautiful little large mouth, solid fish right here. Let's get it. Bye buddy. Woo. The new secondary goal today is to catch one bass without losing the Cinco. That would be a miracle. I think like my record for most fish on a single wacky rig Cinco is probably no more than five. I mean, if I caught, if I caught two, three fish on a Cinco without losing it, I'd be pretty stoked. Oh no. Oh, I just lost one. Dang, I didn't even film grab it. That is unfortunate. Well, there is a timer. There's only a handful more of bushes. So I'm gonna give these a shot and see if we get any luck on them. There we go. One more fish for y'all up against this dock. And this is probably gonna be the last fish of the day. And we're gonna hoist her right on in here. Come to Papa. There we go, good little fish. And there goes Cinco, of course, <laughs> without fail. And in light of this final little dude today, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. So hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And if you did, Drop a like for me and subscribe. And as always, passing this passion. Peace out.